Hello, uh, Skinny Tech Boy here. Uh, what I thought I'd do today is unravel the mysteries, the enigma of scripting. Now, a lot of people get worried when it comes to scripting. Um, they just assume that it's beyond them, but really, it's quite simple once you grasp the basic concepts. Um, so what we're going to do today, we're just going to uh, create a simple uh, script that does something and by doing so hopefully explore uh, the basics of this enigma um, and hopefully uh, by the end of it you will understand a little bit more or maybe it will just give you enough courage to tottle off on your own little adventure into scripting. Let us begin. Okay, um, so what I thought it would be good to do um, in order to help us unravel that enigma that is scripting um, it's just to basically follow uh, along the guidelines of the very first uh, tutorial that you will come across when uh, exploring scripting on the Skyrim Wikipedia now this is also true of Fallout um, scripts the scripting between uh, Skyrim and Fallout 4 is pretty similar um, there are a few changes but for the purposes of this tutorial let's just keep it nice and simple um, so, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate a book. So, bang. let's just rename it. SKQ Script Book. Okay, that would do me. No, ish. Okay, uh, let's open it up and have a look inside. Maybe it's a naughty titillation or some sort. No, oh, no. It's a really boring book. So, let's just get delete all that. Law. Law. Yeah. Bah. Humbug. Um, so, let's just write. We can write whatever we like in here. Um, uh, hurrah. With a capital H. Hurrah. Our script has fired yippee okay doesn't matter what I put here so what we're interested in here is the fact is this little bit here script okay so we can add scripts to this book um, so how do we add scripts so it's really simple uh, let's just save it let's just close this first because otherwise it would go funny and let's change this to SKQ. Okay, so it's there. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's open up our script book again. There he is. Excuse me while I have a little sip of something. I'm not telling you what it is. <laughs> okay, so what we want to do is add a script. Now this may come up with an error because I can't remember yeah I haven't done any scripts since opening CK up and whenever you first try to add a script it always gives you this stupid error message for some reason goodness me so uh, let's just uh, have some casual conversation while that uh, loads up uh, shall we hmm Oh, I know. Let's uh, let's have a look at something. So, the first thing we're going to look at, really, is events. Now, uh, an event is the when. Okay, I really want to want you to think about events as when. So, basically, like when you walk into a trigger, or when you open a door. Yeah, see, there's that warning. Or when you are hit okay so if you look on the wikipedia you can see on activate on salvage attached on dying uh, on package start um, there's loads here um, i recommend bookmarking this page on initialization on init uh, on death uh, by the way use on dying it works better than on death uh, on begin state there's loads these are all events so they're all saying when this happens 
that's all they're saying really because the next stage is functions but let's have a look at functions and bum, bum, bum. did I do functions yes, I did. so you can get two lots of different types of functions okay uh, you can get actor script functions you can get object reference functions um, so what a function is it's basically like a command saying do something so draw weapon enable I, uh, AI uh, dismount or let's find some more some really obvious ones uh, bum, bum, bum. Uh, remove from fra uh, faction uh, open inventory we all know that one don't we when you're doing your from my last tutorial um, so that's a function it's basically saying do this so it's telling the game what to do now functions oopsie um, let's get back here a second I was talking there uh, now functions are basically you get uh, they're all basically primitive they're all in game they're inside the code of the game um, or the game engine rather which is not um, unique to Bethesda so a lot of this code and stuff um, is, is you'll find in, in other games as well although not precisely the same so there's lots of different types of functions but let's start with the event shall we so it all makes sense so we go back to our bookie Hello. so we're going to do a new script okay so you'll notice here you have a name for a script and you have extends object reference okay so by default because this is an object that we're putting script on it's going to say object reference now if you were putting a script on an actor um, it would say extends actor although in the case of CK it always defaults to object reference so you actually need to change it to actor just a little tip there um, so what you want to do is give yourself uh, a a name give your script a name um, now I talked in my last video a little bit about prefixes it's good habit to have a prefix for all your scripts uh, that makes it so much easier to find uh, what you're looking for so we're going to call this a uh, book script nice and simple it does exactly what it says on the label so I'm gonna click OK and it will should load any moment now Oh, come on then. Okay, uh, what I was talking about before about prefixes, if you go down to ooh, pref sorry, preferences, and if you scroll across, you see where it says scripts, you can add your own little prefix. So any script that you create will add that little prefix in there. So get in the habit of doing it. Honestly, it saves you a lot of time. Um, so here's our script. It's got no properties nothing see it's empty okay um, we're gonna fill this all out later so if I were to open this up with edit source um, you can see it's completely blank there's the name of the script do not delete that uh, Mentha, because um, that's basically the name of the script so what we want to do here is find an event that can happen uh, to fire our script um, so with it being a book the most obvious one is on read. Let's find that. So let's go. I've got it bookmarked here. So what I'm looking for is on read. Bom, bom, bom. Uh, uh. Am I in the right place? Uh, let's just search it. It's easier. Come on, come on, you blighter. Okay, it was probably there, but I'm being a tit. So, here's an example. So, it's basically saying it's an event on read, you can do stuff. So, on, on the Wikipedia, it's saying you could basically put a trace on there to say that show that this event has happened and is part of the object reference script. I just was being blind. So basically, you've got this event, and in between, you can run functions and code. This is basically a function, but it's an in-game function. Okay, for uh, 
for making notes to check that things are fired. So we're just going to quickly copy that, control C, and we're going to go back to our little scripty, and we're just going to put that in. So event on read. Now any events, functions, uh, things like that, you need to close it. Uh, so you basically say this is the event and this is where the event ends. So you must have end event. Okay, and what we're going to do is put all of our code in here. Put code in here. Okay, so we're not going to write that just yet because I just want you to understand um, the event. So we're not asking it to do anything to... We're not asking it to do anything wonderful at the moment. Okay, so I'm just going to compile that. And if it fails, then there's something clearly wrong with me. But of course it succeeded because there's no errors in there. So file save. Okay, so oh, it's saving. Whoopsie, a bit too soon. So, what is it that I want to do? Well, I would like it to show a message. So, let's go down to messages. Yum yum yum. Apparently, I'm allowed to sing in these tutorials. There's message. So, let's just create a new one. Uh, let's do a message box because it's easy. Let's go Q my message. Why do I put prefix at everything? Because it's easier to find. Control C that. So it's a message box. Hurrah! Our script works. Okay. So let's just have a look at the message box a second. You've got uh, a message box or you've got auto display. So a message box is when you get the the button that says OK and you have to click it to close the message box. Auto display is when you get it displayed in the top left corner. So it depends how intrusive you want, you want your message to be basically. Uh, most of the time I, I, I'm, I'm always an auto display kind of person. Uh, occasion unless I really want to annoy the player which I have done in the past so this is done this is good uh, you notice that I copied that before so we'll see because we're going to make a property in our script okay so we can now go back to here now you can either add the properties inside the script in the edit source or you can add them before what I do recommend is always uh, trying to name your properties the same as the thing that they're pointing to. And that way, they will always autofill for you. Because the downside of doing it the other way is that you have to, once you've compiled your script, you have to go back and fill your properties. So, I mean, if you're using a script that's for lots of different things, and obviously your properties want to make some sort of logical sense so that you can point them to different objects and um, say that you well I'm not going to give you an example so anyway let's add uh, a property so what is it it's a book bum, bum, bum. oh no it's message what's not what I'm doing <laughs> I'm crazy losing my concentration okay bum. so hopefully this should autofill And of course it has. Okay. So now it's auto filled. Let's just OK that and save just to be on the safe side. So let's go back to books. And let's get inside and do something. Okay, so let's go into edit source. So there you can see our uh, properties being added. So with messages, um, if I were to go back to the Wikipedia and see what we can find. Message script. 
message script, there we go. So the in-game uh, method to show a message is using the word um, show. Uh, it doesn't say it here, but basically that's what you do. So there's other things, uh, in-game little functions um, that you can that do fancy fancy things. But show is what you use uh, for messages. So if I paste my little message there, all I need to do is show. Now you notice these little brackets here. That's a good way of knowing that that's a function. Okay. Uh, I know that's got it there too, because this is saying in here you can have defined properties as well. Um, so we, if we compile this now, it should succeed. Yes, it does. So we're going to go in game and we're going to just quickly check this works but before I do that I obviously need to put the book in the game or oh, let's give it a name um, skinny tech boys script book and its value is two zillion pounds okay Let's save that. Where should we put it? Where? Where? Where I ask you? It's um. I always like White Run, but I prefer to go to an interior. White Run Jail Two. No. Somewhere. Oh, White Run Stables. This want to put it somewhere where I can quickly get into. Let's go in the Drunken Huntsman. The Drunken Huntsman! I've only had a few. Okay, uh, this is going to take a while to load, so I'm going to put this in game uh, and then film that and then come back and we're going to do some more. Okay, here we are in the Drunken Huntsman. Um, and here is our book. Now, I was in here before and I knocked it over so I picked it up and put it back on here. So, hopefully, when we click this, ta-da! Our little script works! Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you yes. have need of hunting supplies, then you've come to the right place. Yes, and a few other things or so I've heard. Oh.